Hello and welcome to our video, 10 informations you need to know about yesterday. In this video, we'll be covering some of the most important events that took place yesterday, giving you a quick summary of each one. Sun Act to Tackle Anti-Maths Mindset According to the Times, in a speech later, the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, will deliver a tough message aimed at changing the public's attitudes towards innumeracy. He will express his opinion that adults who are unable to comprehend basic maths should feel ashamed. Sunak believes that an anti-maths mindset is causing harm to the economy and that having a poor understanding of maths should not be socially acceptable. An advisory group will assess the math skills necessary for students and evaluate whether a new maths qualification is required. More violence in Sudan Sudan is experiencing ongoing conflicts between opposing groups, resulting in additional outbreaks of violence. Reports indicate that at least 97 individuals have lost their lives, with up to 1,000 individuals injured after armed forces and the paramilitary group Rapid Support Forces engaged in a violent confrontation on Saturday in Khartoum, the capital, and other areas of the country. Tensions surrounding a proposed transition to civilian rule have been the underlying cause of the unrest. Sudan Policy and Transparency Tracker, a think tank, has called for immediate intervention from the international community to halt the violence, according to Sudan Tribune. Nurses may strike until Christmas. According to the Times, the Royal College of Nursing has warned that nurses may continue to strike until Christmas and that there is a possibility of coordinated, rolling walkouts, with doctors lasting for months. Following the conclusion of the next planned strike on May 2, nurses will be consulted on a new mandate for action lasting six months, which could result in further strikes until Christmas, stated Pat Cullen, the head of the Royal College of Nursing. Despite one in ten people experiencing disrupted treatment, polling conducted by YouGov shows that the majority of voters still support the strikes. Business confidence bounces back. Deloitte has reported that business confidence in the UK has experienced its most significant increase since 2020. The group's chief financial officers have shown a resurgence in sentiment, as the worries they had concerning energy prices and Brexit issues have eased. Currently, 25% more chief financial officers feel optimistic about the future, compared to 17% who felt the opposite three months ago. The BBC noted that, there has not been such a shift in confidence since the COVID vaccine rollout. Mass shooting at 16th birthday A tragic incident occurred in Alabama, where a mass shooting took place at a 16th birthday party, resulting in the deaths of at least four people. On Saturday evening, shots were fired at the Mahogany Masterpiece Dance Studio in the city of Dadeville, causing numerous injuries, some of which are critical. The New York Post described that the joyful birthday party, of approximately 40 to 50 people, which rapidly turned into a chaotic and terrifying experience as partygoers fled for their lives. Germany's nuclear era is over. CNN reported that Germany has permanently closed its final three nuclear power plants over the weekend, signaling the end of its nuclear era that lasted for more than six decades. Nuclear power has been a contentious issue in the country with opponents arguing that it is unsustainable, dangerous, and a distraction from the need to accelerate renewable energy sources. However, proponents maintain that it is a dependable low-carbon energy source, especially during a time when significant reductions in planet heating emissions are necessary. Children denied mental health support. Research shared with The Guardian has revealed that around 250,000 children who are suffering from mental health problems have been denied treatment by the NHS. As the health service grapples with an influx of cases, some NHS trusts have failed to provide treatment to 60% of those referred by GPs, as reported by the House magazine. Additionally, there seems to be a postcode lottery, as spending per child differs fourfold between certain parts of the country, and average waiting times for a first appointment vary widely between trusts, ranging from 10 days to 3 years. PPE bill still balloons. New data released by the Labour Party reveals that storing personal protective equipment, PPE, is still costing British taxpayers £580,000 per day. 
The UK government's expenditure on storing PPE in China rose by £2.35 million between February 2021 and January 2022. According to Sky News, the cost to taxpayers amounted to £23.5 million in that period, but it had increased to £25.9 million by the same period the following year. John O'Connell, from the Taxpayers' Alliance, commented that although costs are decreasing, the aftermath of COVID continues to pose a significant burden on taxpayers. Hate crimes against disfigured up. New research shows an increase in reports of hate crimes against individuals with visible differences or disfigurements since 2019, according to Charity Changing Faces. The study found that 33% of people with visible differences have experienced a hate crime, up from 28% in 2019. Negative interactions including staring, comments, and intimidation, were reported by 49% of respondents, up from 34% in 2019 and 43% in 2021. Changing Faces CEO Heather Blake called the prejudice against individuals with visible differences shocking. Vasectomy Revolution in the U.S. A urologist has warned that the U.S. is in the midst of a vasectomy revolution, with potential far-reaching consequences. Following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn the Roe v. Wade ruling that protected the federal right to abortion, bookings at the Simple Vast Clinic in Iowa have increased by 100 percent. The Telegraph notes that if this trend continues, it could exacerbate the decline in the U.S. birth rate, which is already threatening the long-term growth of the world's largest economy. The report also highlights that those opting for vasectomies are increasingly young and more likely to be childless.